Heuristic evaluation. No, it's not a medical procedure. Yes, it is an obnoxious term. The term itself is not used too much, but you should be familiar with it. We'll do the what, why, and how for this activity as well. First, what is it? Now we're taking our critical approach, which we just used to conduct our competitive analysis, and turning it inward. Very often, when we're defining our strategy, like in a strategic UX presentation, we move on next to talk about or think about ourselves and try to see where we fit in that context and where the opportunities are for us and what we need to work on to win. So to define this, we can say a heuristic evaluation is an assessment of a digital experience to identify usability issues which conflict with known best practices, but it can also include putting us in context with the competition. Meaning, in addition to usability issues, when we're doing a competitive analysis, as we are, we also often go a step further and apply that same competitive lens to ourselves to see where we fit in and how we stack up. So why do we do it? Heuristics, or heuristic evaluations, help us identify problem areas and potential opportunities. And again, like the rest of our discovery activities, we're looking to learn things which will help us move forward. With a heuristic, we're looking specifically for two things. The answers to two important questions. How do we stack up? And where do we sit? That's our big goal for this activity. Now let's discuss how we do this. Heuristic evaluations apply the same lens you used on the competition to yourself, but dig a little deeper. Because you're looking at one very important additional competitor, who's your favorite in the race, yourself. And what that means is you'll be more of a stickler regarding usability best practices. You can think of this almost like a diagnostic. First look for the same data you looked for from competitors, but for yourself. This helps us answer the where do we sit question. Then look for usability specific issues as well. This helps us answer where do we stack up. We'll go through each of these. They form a useful list which you can use for whatever site you happen to be looking at. And remember, when I say site here, we're talking about the site which would represent our site or our client site. We wouldn't necessarily be this completely thorough for the usability for every single competitor. Metaphor. Is it intuitive? Does it build on what you already know and use things you're familiar with? Navigation. How easy or hard is it to get around? Do you know where you are? Speed and efficiency. Are tasks as quick as they should be? Are there extra unnecessary steps? Consistency. Are things consistent? Could things be made more simple? Is it learnable? Are design patterns thoughtfully reused? Are there clear patterns and meaningful conventions? Word, Excel, and PowerPoint all use the same style toolbar with the same primary menu options. That's a good example of consistency. Feedback. For example, does the system clearly communicate the result of your actions, and does it let you know when it's working on something? Or does it just appear to stall out or be broken? Air prevention. Is it easy to get errors? Hard to get errors? Or better yet, impossible to get errors? Helpfulness. How helpful is it? Does it recognize what you're trying to do and make useful suggestions? Or does it make you enter exactly what you want? Support. Is support nearby when you need help or more information? And design. Does the design make it easier or harder to use? How does the design feel? Is it pleasant or does it get in the way? As a deliverable, these always become part of something larger. They're usually part of what you talk about after you review the competition. Let's look at an example. Here's a big insight about our service which also puts it into context with the competition and known best practices in the space. Our four-step sign-up is tedious and needs to be improved going forward. Here's another one, etc. And remember, as with the other activities, we don't need to share everything we learned, just the important parts, the parts which will move us forward because our big goal with all these activities is to reveal opportunities which will help us define our strategy. Your competitive analysis and heuristic will be especially useful for identifying where the gaps in the market are, the market white space, 
and where your own opportunities for self-improvement lie.